Hello, and welcome back to the Kyle Davis Show. And I don't want to be in this thing. And that guy's not going to let me move over now, is he? Okay, well, eat this. Oh, I guess he didn't eat it. Oh well, whatever. Uh, anyway, in this video I'd like to talk about something that's all kinds of disgusting, all kinds of ugly, and I really, really doubt that anything is going to happen. I really doubt that this, that, that, yeah. So, Jeffrey Epstein. He was arrested, he's been put in jail, prison, probably prison, uh, for essentially sex trafficking minds. Uh, he's been keeping women and girls on this island and uh, having sex with them whenever he wants on his private jet, you know, inviting other people, you know, hey, let's go party. It's absolutely disgusting that someone would even do something like that, let alone say, hey, come on, join me. And what I think is even more disgusting than that is Epstein has made significant contributions to the Democratic Party. So, something I'd like to start with is guess who is a prosecutor in the Epstein case? You guessed it. Or maybe not. It's James Comey. It's the daughter of James Comey, Marie Comey. If we all remember right, James Comey was the guy who, who essentially said that Hillary Clinton should not be tried or punished for the uh, private email thing that she had going on. The FBI found all the, found this, where they had, they had these emails and things from, from Hillary, and then ultimately said, oh, well, you know, she did it, but, you know, don't worry about it. So, you know, don't, we're not going to charge you. She deserves to be in prison for that and so many other things that she's done. She's evil. And it was the it was Obama, loser Obama, who protected Hillary or who, you know, uh, was played a part in protecting Hillary from the these email from the from the the email server. And who's to say that Ori Comey is not is, is going to protect this Jeffrey Epstein because it's been reported that this Epstein guy essentially helped create the Clinton Foundation. It says that he funded for like half of the Clinton Foundation. And he's responsible for giving millions of dollars, if not billions, I don't know how much, probably more, probably millions, millions of dollars to uh, the Democratic Party and, you know, whoever else. He is very Democrat and he very much supports the Democratic Party. Because if, you know, a Republican was there, 
he would have been charged, he would have been tried, charged, and thrown in prison and sentenced probably for the rest of his life. I don't understand how the left is tolerating this. The left is saying, oh, well, he's given the Democrats so much money, so, you know, it's okay. It's like, what? How the hell should he get away with this? Yeah, 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 I know. He's already been in prison once, and, you know, he's already, you know, done the time or, you know, something to that effect. Should I sleep here, or should I? Uh... Yeah, I should probably sleep here. So let's turn this puppy around. I'm not sure if I'll fit, but you know, that's the fun of it. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to knock this sign down. I'm just going to turn around right here. Ha 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 ha. Without going in the ditch. Sorry, truck, you're gonna have to wait. But yeah, I don't get how the left can even tolerate this. How they're not just throwing him in prison. They should have thrown Hillary Clinton in prison, but they protected her because, you know, she really didn't have anything of, to worry about. Just classified information on a public server that, you know, can be hacked. I guess any server can be hacked, technically. But the point is that she was able to get away with this crime. She wasn't prosecuted. She wasn't tried. She wasn't even charged. She was nothing. Because she's this huge political icon. She's a pop star for politics, essentially is what it is. And nothing was done about it. Yet Obama was hit for two years for something he never did. He never colluded with Russia. And the funny thing is it was uh Biden, who said, we'll never let this thing happen under our watch, that Trump polluted with Russia, except the funny thing is, if it did, then it did happen under his watch, but the kicker is, Trump never polluted with Russia, there was no evidence, two years, there was no evidence, and yet he is still hit hard by the Democratic Party for colluding with Russia. It was in the first camp it was in the first Democratic campaigns that Trump colluded with Russia and that that never should happen again. Except it never happened to begin with. There were no crimes, there were no anything, and yet somehow Trump is still being punished for quote-unquote Russian collusion when it says in the Mueller report that there was no collusion. There are no crimes. There's nothing. And Hillary Clinton did this thing and wasn't charged. So anyway, back to this Jeffrey Epstein case. I highly doubt that uh, anything's gonna happen. I really, really do. Other than, you know, he'll be in prison and uh, he'll be tried and uh, he may be sentenced, you know, and there's a good chance there'll be a bail and he'll be able to meet whatever bail is set. So the other question becomes, where is he getting all this money from? Probably from all the, the sex traffic that's happening. Because it's very profitable, unfortunately. 
sex trafficking, sex trafficking is so profitable that it costs next to nothing to keep people quiet about it. They can't afford to say, hey, we'll pay you thousands of dollars to just not talk about it. Oh, come on. What am I stuck on? Oh, that's it. Oh, come on. Come on, you piece of trash. Move. Thank you. And so, essentially, with this Epstein guy who's reportedly funded over you know, half or, you know, half of the Clinton Foundation that, you know, supports themselves, that people would give to, think it's an actual organization that helps people, that there's a good chance the, the, the Clintons will either say, you know, he, you know, he's a good guy, he never really did this, or they're going to cover their own butts and say, you know, we really had no involvement, we really had no idea. That seems to be typical of how these things go, is they either cover each other's butts and say, you know, he didn't do this, or they say we had no idea, when really they did, and it was known in Hollywood, it was known by the mass media, it was known by lots of people, just no one ever spoke up. No one ever said anything about it. I was listening to uh, Rush Limbaugh the other day and he was saying that. And again, it's sickening that these people knew he was doing this thing and no one's ever said anything about it until just now. So I, I, I'm not an expert on the whole situation, but I really think that anything could happen. that there's an endless amount of possibilities with this but I really doubt that the Democratic Party will punish Epstein like he should be because that's what they do they protect their own they cover for their own and they don't see a problem with it they don't they don't like to admit their own faults and they like to point fingers at other people. They never point fingers at themselves. They never take responsibility for their own actions. And that's what's happening here. Like, oh yeah, well, ah uh, yeah, well, uh, Makes me sick and it's disgusting. And the other thing is that he will probably like I said, you'll probably be put in prison, you'll probably be put on bail. Someone will meet the bail, probably the Democratic Party, one way or another, will bail him out, and then he'll go right back doing what he was doing. That's not punishment. You should be thrown in prison for life, no parole, no bail. Bye. That's where I'm going to end this video. So, uh, yeah, if you're still here, thanks for watching. And I hope that you'll be here uh, next time. Bye.